Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. Well hey guys, it's Tom here. We are back in the shop for another video. Um, it is Labor Day weekend when I am filming this. And uh, we just got back, me and Mrs. Hilltop, from our uh, mountain property. We spent uh, about three days up there. It was good to do a getaway. And while we're up there, we hit a huge swap meet. So um, I scored a couple items I thought were pretty cool. And um, let's see, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know eBay purchase. Well, I got one eBay purchase, uh, a couple of things from Snap-on, and some updates for you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's right, you got it. It is mail call. It is number 18. We are rocking and rolling, all right. Uh, we're coming up on our uh, uh, one year on YouTube anniversary also, so that's pretty cool. And I would like to say thanks to all my new subscribers. I appreciate it. Uh, finally hit the 300 mark. We are just a tad bit over 300, so that is awesome. I really appreciate it, man. I like talking to you guys. I like the thumbs up, the comments. And um, if you have not subscribed, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. That way I know you're out there. And then... Um, leave comments and um, we can uh, you know learn and grow this is a, a hobby and a small job shop that you're uh, watching so um, hey we all benefit so let me show you the goodies I got this weekend first off um, there was a couple vendors that had some real good machinist stuff and um, one guy had a smorgasbord of stuff some of the stuff was um, not so great and some was okay and um, on this table I found this nice Starrett adjustable parallel set and uh, there's a viewer that uh, I'll uh, <laughs> not name right now but I uh, picked this up because I thought he needed a set so I grabbed this I said it's a nice used Starrett set it is missing the smallest one but uh, you know that's no big deal you can replace that for you know probably less than 10 bucks on eBay. The small ones are, are the cheap ones, obviously. The, the big daddies are the uh, more expensive ones. But uh, yeah, a nice use set. And uh, figured he could, uh, he could use them. So you know who you are. I communicated with you earlier, so we'll probably be putting this in the mail. So a uh, nice Starrett set of adjustable parallels. Really good price. And uh, the guy that had some really good machinist stuff, um, I saw this baby, so <laughs> you know I had to grab it because I've got his big brother here. I've got this baby right here. This is the uh, this is the 675. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the indicator stand, but uh, this is the smaller one here. This is the 665, but. Uh, so she's a beaut, man. She is beautiful. So, um, you know, you can put your indicator on it. You can sit her down anywhere you want. You could use it on a surface plate, you know, put on your lathe, uh, whatever. So uh, you don't see these very often at all come up for sale. So I grabbed this one. It was a super buy. So I'm glad to have that. And not machinist related, but uh, <laughs> channel related. Saw this uh, nice uh, Vivitar tripod um, in a guy's pile of stuff for sale. So I was checking it out and asked him how much he wanted. He said five bucks. So I'm like, you got it. So we got us another tripod to uh, shoot video with. Unfortunately, is missing the uh, the removable base but uh, you know hey we're a machine shop so we can make one and uh, this will be uh, a good tripod for uh, the GoPro which is what I'm filming now I've got the other uh, got the the uh, the Canon that's sitting on the uh, the one tripod I got now so uh, figured that was awesome 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 and um, I think that was it for the uh, the flea market scores. Mrs. Hilltop grabbed some uh, cool furniture and uh, of course you know we had to buy goodies like 
cookies and cakes and licorice and you know all that stuff that you don't need but you got to eat it once in a lifetime so uh, it was good to patronize the small businesses and my snap-on purchases for the week I uh, decided to upgrade my half-inch drive stuff my standard size rent ratchets I've got an old craftsman um, I got it when I was 17 back in 1982 so yeah that kind of dates me right um, so I had that one and of course a you know a junky Pittsburgh one that I got from Harbor Freight and um, you know decided to go ahead and get some quality ones nothing wrong with the craftsman but you know it's kind of dated they haven't changed the design in like 70 years and it's not that comfortable in your hand and it's not a fine tooth count so you know these are a lot I don't even let me do it to the mic here. You can hear it how fine these tooth are. So when you're in a tight spot and you can just move a little bit, it's great. So you can get that ratcheting effect. If you only have a short tooth count, then you really got to, you know, move a lot to grab a tooth. So just upgraded. Got a comfort grip and then I got a standard or a traditional as some people like to refer to it. These are great, you know, if you oil changes, greasy jobs where you know you're just going to get it filthy so that way you don't get all that gunking on the uh, on the comfort grips and for you guys that don't uh, know or not familiar with snap-on tools you can uh, get these comfort grips removed and replaced when you uh, you know you thrash them and they're there uh, you need another one so that's not a problem and uh, let's see eBay I only got one thing from eBay um, <clears throat> the uh the drive on my x-axis on the excello milling machine is starting to go it's a nice servo unit but it's it's an old one so um you know i was thinking well i need probably need to tear it down and try to rebuild it or um i just started you know looking on ebay and, and amazon just in case for a replacement and um <laughs> man have the prices of uh Oh, power feeds come way down. So um, I got this for a uh, freaking hundred and forty-five dollars. So yeah. So I'm like, you know, score. So even if I needed to, uh, you know, rebuild the servo unit and I needed parts or a, you know, the potentiometer is bad or something, by the time I bought parts, um, you know, I'd be in it almost what this would be. So I mean, hopefully uh, this will do the job. But you know, I mean, it's a nice unit comes with of course your bracket but I'll hopefully be able to modify it and just use the one that's currently on it and your drive gear of course nice brass and then you know a whole bunch of your knickknacks to go with it and so I figured what the heck let's go for it right so that was my big one and only eBay purchase And let me get this out of the way so uh, how you guys like the welding rotary table series uh, so far it's coming along great you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying the build it's going along pretty good only had uh, one or two bozos um, so by the time you see this um, probably it will be at three or four in the series it's probably gonna be about I don't know six videos or so by the time we get this thing completed but um, so far it's coming along nice I appreciate you guys throwing comments and suggestions um, it's been fun and let's see here um, this coming up weekend is uh, the semi-annual big swap meet and car and truck show out at the Charlotte Motor Speedway it's gonna be the fall show so um, by the time you see this uh, mail call, we've already been to the show, and then we'll be posting a you know video of the shenanigans that me and my uh, partners Wes and uh, Brad we always go out there and see what kind of stuff we can find. So uh, of course I'm going to bring you guys along via the GoPro. So that'll be some uh, good good footage. Hopefully we'll have some good finds and some good scores. You never know. And. Um, Hold on, let me uh, turn you around real quick. Hopefully you can see this, but we got that upcoming job there. That uh, is a nice, clean Jeep CJ. We got to do some welding on. So um, that'll be an upcoming video. 
I dropped it off last week and I got to uh, get it pulled up here and get the tires off and we're going to weld on some uh, new purchase, purchases for the um, shocks. We need new shock mounts, upper and lower, so that'll be the project on that. And let me get you moved around here and uh, show you the shaper. All right, I'm going handheld to be a little bit shaky. Let me throw some light here. But uh, if you remember Mail Call 17, I mentioned about the, uh, the wipers and the retainer, so I've got them installed. So um, nice upgrade on the shaper. So now um, it'll act like a, a 1941 and later model because that's when those were added. So uh, now the oil won't be draining all the way down on the uh, on the ways there and onto the table. So awesome! It's pretty easy. Just uh, drill and tap some holes, and then you can see you put a little oil on the tops, and it keeps the uh, keeps it uh, nice and wet. So. Well, that's about it. That's going to wrap it up. Just a uh, short mail call. Just uh, got a few goodies and a few updates. So, um, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You know, check out the channel. I try to uh, post videos regularly. I try to post them on uh, Monday and Friday. So, um, if you're new to the channel, um, obviously you can hit that bell you get notified and um, if you don't want to hit the bell that's your prerogative but um, then you need to uh, check out my channels on Mondays and Friday afternoons because they should have a new video so uh, hey guys I appreciate it we'll catch you later bye